If you are watching this video, chances are you have seen the big, puffy clouds floating in the sky on a summer day. But have you ever imagined why they stay up in the sky against the law of gravity? Why don't they fall down? Let's say clouds float for the same reason that helium balloons float, or maybe they are lighter than air. Well, that can't be true because we know that clouds are made of water. Water is not lighter than air. Water does not float. So, why don't clouds fall out of the sky? Before you begin to think out loud, make sure you watch this video to the end because that's exactly what I'm about to show you. So, hit the red button below this video to subscribe and the bell button to get notified of our new videos. Let's get rolling. If we must solve this puzzle, we first need to know how clouds are formed in the first place. Now here is it. Remember that time when you hang up a wet towel and when you come back it's dry? Or when you set out a bowl of water for your dog and when you look again, the water level in the bowl has dropped even though puppy has been nowhere near the bowl? So where did the missing water go? It evaporated. That means some of the liquid water in the towel or bowl changed into an invisible gas called water vapor and drifted away into the atmosphere. The same thing is constantly happening with oceans, lakes, rivers, swamps, swimming pools, and everywhere water is in contact with air. Liquid water changes into a gas when water molecules get extra energy from a heat source, such as the sun, or from other water molecules running into them. These energetic molecules then escape from the liquid water in the form of gas. While water on the ground readily escapes into the atmosphere, the air can only hold a certain amount of water vapor, depending on the temperature and weight of the air, or atmospheric pressure in a given area before it gets saturated. And what happens when the saturated volume of air cools, or the atmospheric pressure drops? The air is no longer able to hold all that water vapor. The excess amount changes from a gas into a liquid, or solid, ice. The process of water changing from a gas to a liquid is called condensation, and when gas changes directly into a solid, it is called deposition. These two processes are how clouds form. But, going a bit further from our question, how clouds are formed, one would assume that the cloud actually falls once they condense as seen in the fog. But even then, it wouldn't be correct to say that the whole cloud falls at once, just as a big chunk of cheese would. The biggest drops fall first, followed by progressively smaller ones until there isn't enough water left to form more drops. We know this as rain. And that takes us to the next question. Why and how does rain fall? Wait a minute. After all this, we still don't know why it rains? Feeling we've been beating around the bush? I guess that's what you'd expect from someone who's been a college professor for three decades. <laughs> but uh, not to worry. We're almost there. We all know that rain is good for our planet. It gives us fresh water to drink, helps farmers grow crops, keeps everything green and lush, and is fun to run around in as kids. And do you know that without rain, most of our planet would be like a desert? That's a scary thought, right? That's why we're going to find out all about rain and what causes it. So keep watching, like the video and comment. Now, in order for it to rain, the air must be saturated, allowing precipitation to take place. The relative humidity must be 100%, or very close to it. How does that happen? By lowering the temperature or bringing in more water vapor until it gets saturated as we saw in the first few minutes of this video. So for the rain to fall, two basic processes occur, saturation and coalescence. Saturation is when invisible moisture in the air, water vapor, is forced to condense on microscopic particles, i.e. pollen and dust, to form tiny visible droplets like fogs. Coalescence, on the other hand, occurs when water droplets fuse to create larger water droplets. As these larger water droplets descend, coalescence continues, so that drops become heavy enough to overcome air resistance and fall as rain. So, you made it to the last minute of this video, right? This last part will sure meet your curiosity about why clouds don't fall from the sky. The two biggest reasons that clouds stay in the sky are small drops density and wind. First of all, Clouds are made up of small drops of water, and the key to why clouds float is that the density of the same volume of cloud material, small drops, is less than the density of the same amount of surrounding dry air, just the same way oil floats on water because it is less dense than water. So, that heavy cloud floats over your head and does not fall as one big chunk because the air below it is even heavier, pushing it back in an upward draft. Now you know why clouds don't fall heavily from their harbor. 
So when next a friend take it up and ask you why cloud don't fall but pour, simply show them this video and you will have them buy you a cup of chocolate or coffee. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.